guys, it's me, Heather, and I'm back with another video. Today's video was very exciting. It's first in a series of many. I have teamed up with Julie from Why Go Warrior. She'll be popping up here. You already know she is. You already know I love Julie. We have decided <laughs> we're, we're doing a new kind of collab. And so if you think this is a fun idea and you and a friend decide to do it, please tag us so we can watch it because we think this is very exciting. So basically what we're doing is... We're gonna try every month to buy makeup for the other person and send it to them and then they're gonna create a video um, unboxing it, showing you what they picked out and then um, they're gonna do a full face using those products. So, so this month we picked, well we went we went through the gamut because we tried, we started on a few websites and mostly everything was sold out. We decided ColourPop will have an 80% off sale. So we said, I think we spent like $40 or less. We picked said pick a bronzer pick a blush pick an eyeshadow palette and a, a lipstick I don't remember what all else but we agreed on the items and then she told me what she had I told her what I didn't have <laughs> that was easier and um so then we just picked those items so I don't know what she sent me I have a box here that all I have done you can tell I did not cheat all I've done is untaped it um cut it with a little box cutter so this is a surprise so essentially she bought it sent it to my house i have no idea what it is i have other color pop items here that i have purchased um because my foundation all my face color pop stuff was like three years old and it did not um look very good when i tried <laughs> when i squirted it out of the tube so um, i purchased some new stuff but we're gonna unbox what she sent me i'm more nervous this is like christmas when i buy a gift it's that she's not gonna like what i sent her or that she's gonna be like what was she thinking she could have totally trolled me and picked nothing that matches all this crazy stuff that are not my shades and I still have to use it. So hopefully she's not a troll because I'm a troll, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that to her. I mean, it's something I would totally do, but I didn't do it to her. I don't know. She could have done it to me, but we're going to find out together. So <laughs> let's unbox here. And this is my first time seeing it. Like I said, it's a mystery box from her. She shot for me and sent it to my house. So it's been sitting here. What do we have? ColourPop, obviously it's a ColourPop Paul. Virtually Obsessed, I think these are lips. Just a Tint Mini Duo. Ooh, those are pretty and pink. I'm assuming that's a lip, a lippy. Very pretty. So, so far, so good. She did good with the pink. Let's see what else this is. So Charming Cream Gel Duo Liner. I honestly don't remember what I sent her. Um, it's been a while. It took about two weeks, maybe about a week. Yeah, about two weeks. So these are the liners she sent me, very pretty. The Cream Gel Liner and Charmer and, and Lover Boy. Oh yeah, so it was the box that came in. Just in case you have some of these items and you wanna recreate this look. I'm just taking off the top here. Um, and then she sent me a pretty penny blush stick. Ooh. So we got lip crayons and then we got blush sticks. Oh, sis, look at these. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh, so that might be the highlighter. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty on the eye, too, on the inner corner. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I see. I see. So there's a, that. She thinks I'm a bronze goddess. I know it comes across that way. <laughs> uh, not so much. <clears throat> All right, and then we got this. This is our pressed powder bronzer and talk to the palm. We like packaging. So this was fun because we just agreed upon like a rough a dollar amount. I know it was like less than four. I think it was 35 for free shipping. So as long as we did like 35 to 40 and then we just agreed upon the items. So if there's something like next month, I think Sephora is having their big sale. So we may do Sephora collection. Ooh, that's my exact shade. I mean, look at the skin. Mm-hmm. My skin is looking good. That is not chocolate as much as we'd like to think that is. It's not. It's just a <laughs> I'm broken out. And then I'm guessing this is my eyeshadow palette called Digital Playground. Ooh, 
she knows me so well. Look at that. All right, and then it's just a note from ColourPop saying thank you. Okay, so she did great. I hope that I did well. I hope she can put together a look with what I um, picked out for her. <laughs> Uh-oh. My lid, my lid's broken. <laughs> um, no, we have casualties. Look, can you see? We've got one, the lid broke. You heard that when I opened it and then this fell out. <laughs> Come on, color pop. Oh, it's magnetized. It went right back in. Just kidding. Just kidding, color pop. All right. So then for my part, because I went to use my, um, uh, I went to test out my color pop foundation that I had bought and it's a, like at least three years old. Um, and I was like, it pumped out like water and oil first even after I shook it up so I just picked up this is a different shade than what I had this is the fair tan neutral so probably gonna be too light it looks kind of pink see how white my neck is on my face is just red and then uh, this came free if you bought the uh, foundation the hyaluronic mist we need some moisture and then I got the pretty fresh concealer in the shade tan neutral we're gonna find out and then the brow pen. I go in with this pretty pink shade down here. I think it's called Crib with the little diamond on it. If you have this palette, and we're gonna take that into the crease. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yes, we love a pink eye. And I could have went with the other. There's like a coral colors in here but you know I was gonna go with pink it's the whole reason she bought it it's because it was pink hit that edge there blend 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 all right <clears throat> now we're gonna take um from Paris the next shade here with my finger all over the lid and up into the crease, just not in, like not over the crease, but up to the crease. Look at that. Very pretty. Finger. Ta da. And then, like, Love and Warhol. This one, which is also sparkly pink. We're gonna put that right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yes, and remember if you watch my other videos, it's messy, it's okay, we'll get a brush, we'll blend it out. My, my teach you that it's just makeup. We're just having fun. You don't have to abide by any rules. The only rule that I'm pushing upon anybody is just to blend the edges. <laughs> See? That coral kind of just blended away, didn't it? color in the middle we start with the eyes but then we go to face and we finish with the eyes we can add whatever our heart desires so we're going to do um, we're going to cover up some of this discoloration so let's spray some of this again this smells amazing until it gets old and um, it's about like a couple months in after you've had it, it will start having a smell to it. Like old oil and you have to toss it because I've had two of these I think now and I've had to toss them both. <laughs> so that one was free. So I'm not going to complain, but all right. We're going to try the Pretty Fresh. I've never tried this one. The one I had was in a squeezy tube. It sounds very liquidy. It makes me nervous because I need lots of coverage. Breakouts. Breakouts, breakouts. <laughs> All right, putting this on here. Oh God. Mm. Oh no, I have misjudged. I just used the color that was in the other one. I just picked the same name. This is why I can't shop for foundation online. Oh, I'm gonna be a ghost. I'm glad she got me a bronzer.
And I have to go in public, so we gotta make this because I don't have time to take it off and do it again. My husband will be back in no time flat and we have to leave, so. <laughs> I should, probably shouldn't be filming this now since I have to go out, but let's just do this. I don't wanna be too white. <laughs> Not setting, like I have dry patches, obviously you saw that when I started, but use this bronzer. What oh, does have a mirror? Let me take this. All right. <clears throat> we gotta bronze this pale little face up. <laughs> Because at first, as you're watching my videos, you're like, oh, no, no, no. But as the bronzer and the blush and the brows, you're like, oh, the miracle of makeup. <laughs> She's a total catfish, but. And I know I wear lots and lots of bronzer and lots and lots of highlighter. And someone asked me in person the other day. <laughs> um do most makeup artists wear this much makeup and I'm like actually makeup artists are just humans and they wear whatever the hell they want to wear right I mean um I know makeup artists who don't wear makeup at all they don't like makeup they like art they like the art of mixing colors and finding the perfect foundation and they like creating looks they're very avant-garde they don't like makeup they're not girly they're not into girly stuff they don't care they like the art it's like painting the face they don't like makeup i know makeup artists like myself who wear excessive pink sparkle glitter highlight so everybody's different with what they like and if you ain't paying me <laughs> all right so there's that bronzer and i like it. it's very natural loves it let me take some down and we have I think this is a blush, but this is like the shade of my skin. Let's... It's almost the same color as my bronzer. Let's take this and but it has like a nice little dew to it. <clears throat> Let's see, this is our just making sure I'm using everything. I'm just looking around. And this is our highlighter. Very natural. <clears throat> I do like a bronze goddess though. Which I need because I don't have um, any sun. <laughs> Let's look up close. Let's see if we're streaking up or now it's very pretty to see if we can oh. add a little bit more. Oh yeah yeah. Very pretty. Look how glowy. I'm gonna take this 99 in the middle here. Oh I guess it has the names on the back. I don't have to try to figure out what that font says. We're gonna take 99 and put it right here on the inner corner. And we're going to brush that up into the other eyeshadow. We take the same brush we had and brush that up into that other color. And then we're going to take a pencil brush and let's take, let's just use all of them. So let's just use this one here on the end, which is called crib, I believe. Crib, yep. We're going to do that underneath. If we need that pink, we'll put the pink on top of that. <clears throat> I think she did a great job picking out stuff for me. This is right up my alley. Oh yeah. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> There's not a light shade, so I might have to cheat 
for my brow bone because I need a little highlight up there. But we'll see what we what we look like when we're done. So let's go ahead and do our brows. That'll pull everything together again. I got this online at Ulta and they were sold out. So they didn't have the lighter shade and they, didn't have, they only had darker shades. So I just went with a lighter one and I was like, I can build it up hopefully. All right. So, she doesn't do her eyebrows, so I didn't have to send her anything for her brows. We agreed upon that. Um, so, I got brunette for my brows, if you're curious what that is. Now, we're going to line our eyes. I think we should do a, this a dark color, because this one is kind of, let's see, does it swatch? Because it looks quite red. Yeah, so it's a red it looks pink. It's called Lover Boy, but it is definitely like a red. I don't know. Let's see. This one might be too dark though. Maybe we'll do this one upper lash and that one low waterline. Let's see. All right. There we go. Woof. Wee. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to do this one on the waterline. Surely it'll show up better on the waterline because it's not having to cover anything. I am realizing now it is dawning upon me that I do not have a ColourPop mascara. So, if you're an Ulta, <laughs> getting ColourPop, this essence is affordable. That's my bad. I just realized as I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, I knew there was something I would forget. Now, <clears throat> we have these two lips. We have Chubby Bunny. Oh, that's pretty. <clears throat> Chubby Bunny. And we have Butterfly Kisses. And we'll put that right beside it. So, Butterfly Kisses, Chubby Bunny. Yep, yep. I don't know. I kind of like this one. It's the same color as my eyes, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It smells good. Mmm. I hope it's not mango. I'm allergic to mango. <laughs> I'll find out here in a little bit. Is this pink enough for you guys? I hope this did it justice. I hope she enjoys her stuff. So, marry all that makeup together there. I'm just trying to make sure I use everything. Eyeliners, lip, highlighter, bronzer, eyeshadow. Perfection. So, I hope uh, you enjoyed this. I think it's so much fun. Thank you, Julie, for agreeing to do I was like, I need somebody who will swap with me. <laughs> Julie, my mystery box friend. So, go subscribe to her. Go see if what she creates. If she likes it, I hope she likes it. It makes me nervous that she won't like it. And then, um, yeah, like I said, it's like Christmas. And I'm like, oh, God, she's not going to like it. She's not going to like it. But hopefully she likes it because I love this. Look, this is such a Heather. I'm like, if it's 80s, if it's pink, blue... It's all me. This lip is, uh, it's like pretty color, but it's glossy. I'll wear this all the time. This is perfect for me because I don't have to worry about it being all over my teeth. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.